Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 22nd video of our LZH Project series. And this video basically is the part of our uh, previous video, uh, Linux Storage. And in this video we will discuss RAID. And RAID stands for Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disk. And RAID is used uh, since ages in Linux system and it's available in software and hardware uh, like we can use uh, RAID hardware for hardware RAID and software RAIDs are what operating system provides uh, this facility. RAID has some options such as mirroring, parity and stripping and we will be discussing mirroring, uh, mirror. And mirror means uh, like we combine two drives, two or more drives into one logical drive and when we uh, write data to one drive the data automatically gets written to next drive so if one drive fails we don't use our data uh, we don't lose our data so uh, but the problem with mirroring is in this uh, option lots of space is consumed so let's uh, let's take an example that if you add uh, one terabyte of hard drive uh, and you want uh, a mirror raid with it you need another one terabyte of hard drive you will combine both of these drives to be uh, to make one logical drive and this one logical drive where you can write data is only one terabyte so one terabyte of space will be consumed or will not be used so that's lots of space is uh, like uh, not used so the other thing uh, like the other option which is parity it also helps to prevent data loss in case a uh, hard drive is failed uh, but the problem is like it has performance issue and if one drive uh, one drive is always used uh, to hold the parity uh, data and let's say you have five drives so four drive space can be used but uh, the fifth drive will be used to hold the parity data so it will uh, help to rebuild in case the hard drive has failed so enough with the theory and now uh, let's uh, in this video we will basically see how to create a mirror uh, RAID so let's make sure that we uh, have at least two drives available fdisk shell grab sg Sorry. pipe it to less again and we can see that we have STA and it's our primary drive. We are not going to use it. We will use SDB and you can see that. And then there is SDD and then there is SDC. So we already have three drives and let's start. So the first step to create RAID is uh, that we need to make a special partition for RAID. So to create that special partition, we will use fdisk dash sdb first. Uh, let's print if to see if we have anything on it. Uh, now the partition is empty. So let's create a new partition. A primary the partition number is one. We'll take the default values. Okay. Now if I type p this time, and we can see that. The ID is 83, which means it's a Linux system, but we don't want this ID. So let me type, uh, let me type L to list other options uh, for the file. Uh, and we can see that there is FD, uh, Linux RAID Auto. So the type of file uh, system I would like to put on this hard drive is FD. So I'll type T and I'll type then FD press enter and if we print this time we can see it's ID is FD and Linux uh, system is Linux RAID auto detect so this is type of uh, system we need on our drives uh, W to write and the same we will use with drive C print no partition okay create new primary one enter enter type is fd and write same with dd print nothing new primary one enter enter type 
FD. Okay, print. Okay, everything seems good. Right. And that's it. We just created our partitions. Uh, so, fdisk-l grab sg asterisk and pipe it to less. And now we can see that we have partitions of sgb1, sgc, sgd1, and sgc1. Okay, so this is how we create partitions for RAID. And I hope I'll see you another video uh, just to make sure that we don't uh, make our video lengthy. So, but first, uh, let's check if we have uh, successfully created our uh, RAID devices. Uh, to make sure, you should have, uh, to check the RAID, you should have MDADM package. Just make sure you already have this package. If not, you can always install it with jump-y install MDADM. And uh, let me check if I already have this package, rpm-querya MDADM. And it reveals that I already have this package, so I'll type mdadm dash dash examine and slash dev sdb uh, slash dev sdc slash dev sdd. Okay. And it shows that we have these uh, type is fd and the size is 2048. So let me come back to the uh, next video and see you in the next video.